this video we are going to talk about how to write the discussion section discussion implications limitations and future research directions are the last part of your study after you have analyzed your data the first step is writing the discussion followed by the implications limitations and future research directions now discussion when you are writing a discussion section you should start with the objective of your study a clear statement on what was the objective of your study now here is an example the purpose of this research was to test a model to understand whether culture moderated the internal marketing practice and employee satisfaction relationship now this is or this was the purpose of a study so you start your discussion section with highlighting what was the purpose of your study followed by how your results compare to the results of previous research now it's important that you actually discuss the results of your study by highlighting the hypothesis discuss each hypothesis separately or in case of research question for qualitative research you discuss each of the research questions separately so now what what like this example the first is the results supported hypothesis 1 and this is consistent with previous studies recent calls have been made within the internal marketing literature for research that utilizes the functions of internal marketing to better improve employee satisfaction now there are two things that one should note in here the first thing is whether your hypothesis was supported or not and second if it was supported has there been previous research that compares to this research another example this is another example so now several authors let's let's read this one several authors examples this provide a theoretical foundation and conceptual framework based on internal marketing variables explaining how goals related to employee satisfaction can be achieved so this is um, what existing research has focused on how internal marketing influences job satisfaction or employee satisfaction now this is the first thing that you should mention when you are starting your discussion but this is not the only thing what existing research scholars do or what research scholars that are actually in the process of writing sometimes do the major mistake is that they just compare the results of their study with existing research this is not the only thing that needs to be discussed it's important that you identify why a certain relationship was significant or insignificant in your research so there is this aspect of whether your research results compare to existing research and the second one or the another important thing is why a certain relationship is significant now internal marketing concept improves customer satisfaction by creating employee satisfaction and is this cons consequently increases company performance business aspiring to be leaders in this specific industry should therefore adapt adopt and implement this internal marketing concept this could be one reason why this relationship was significant why does the significant and insignificance of relationship show in your field now if you are focused on a particular field of study or sorry particular area of study for instance higher education for instance life sciences maybe pharmaceutical industry for instance maybe a, a certain fast moving consumer growth now you need to identify why this relationship or why the significance or insignificance of relationship is important in this area of study on the premise of cultural congruence has been moderated the relationship between internal marketing practices and employee satisfaction for tourism and hospitality employees this study put forward forward an implication an implication that internal marketing research and practice would benefit from considering cultural congruence now highlighting the role of culture within the relationship of internal marketing practices and employee satisfaction in hospitality industry now this is how you should obviously discuss the relationship that you have studied in your study in the particular area of study or particular field that you want to or that you are that you have studied now this is another text that explains why this is important in the hospitality industry now it is very important that one highlights the use of the theory or uses the theory to discuss the results of 
your study because obviously uh, we have already identified in one of uh, the previous sessions that failure to identify the theory failure to contribute to the theory actually leads to rejection of the paper now you have to use the theory in discussion of your results now how do you do this now it is always critical to incorporate the theory that you have utilized to establish the relationship as a mean to explain why or why not certain relationship exists this is particularly important when there is lack of existing research into a particular area of research or the relationship have not been previously established now one should one can use theory to explain relationship that not have been previously studied for example you you are studying a new relationship but you have established that relationship using a theory for example you are studying a new style of leadership and in, in and evaluating its influence on maybe say career satisfaction or maybe life satisfaction now there is no previous research on how a particular style of or a new style of leadership influences career satisfaction or life satisfaction now you can use leader member exchange theory or social exchange theory or any other social learning theory or any other theory to to establish those relationship and then further use that theory to discuss the relationship that whether this relationship that you found true in your study or significant in your study actually compares or complements the existing theory or not we will look into this through examples as well now this is one example a significant relationship between csr and team commitment align with this social identity theory as an organization social activities give its employees a sense of belonging make them feel proud of their organization and build a sense of commitment now this is uh, taken out from the discussion of a paper now here the the relationship between csr and team commitment is further highlighted based on social identity theory the study revealed a significant relationship between csr and team performance cementing the social identity theory perspective that argues that when csr initiatives are adopted by the employing organization this can strengthen employee organizational identification and assist in promoting employee performance now there might not have been research on how csr influences team commitment so using social identity theory in the discussion section helped the author to further emphasize the why or or why there is a significant relationship between csr and team commitment so theory will help you express why there could be a significant relationship or why was there a significant relationship when you do not have any existing research available on the relationships now you have to write the conclusion of your study so an overall conclusion from your research in light of research objective you have to write your conclusion in in light of your research objectives so first mention your research objectives and then start writing a conclusion of your study you write the limitations what are the limitations of your research in terms of sample data correct, collection measurement and analysis so used you used convenient sampling future research could use simple random sampling or stratified random sampling you used collected data from one city the future research must collect data from multiple cities you used a single dimensional scale future research could use a multi dimensional scale you used symmetric method future research could use asymmetric methods are there any conceptual limitations now what are the future research directions for example you actually focused on a uh, few relationships what could the future research directions do now what further relationship that a uh, future research could undertake for example what mediators or moderators could be uh, taken in future research for example you took one mediator future research could to, to could take three four five mediators i guess five would be uh, too much now and if they if you want to change the conceptual scope of the study obviously a uh, new relationship in your uh, research if you want to test new relationship in your study or in your model you can recommend or any change in an analytical te techniques as i have mentioned before that previous studies have used or this research have used symmetric method future research could use asymmetric methods what are the implications of your study now how could your research benefit the individual the management and organizations of the study or oh, sorry the organization what are the policy implications for your study and most importantly what are the theoretical implications of your study what have you done for the theory now these are very important things that one should do in their discussion section 
doing these will actually strengthen your discussion section. For instance, let's have a look at a few papers. This is one paper. Now, if you see the discussion section here. Now, this actually highlights the theoretical foundation or theoretical contribution of this study because there is very limited research on the linkage between CSR and team outcome. Now, if you see every single relationship is assessed. First, the hypothesis is, is presented or the relationship, whether or not the hypothesis was significant. And then, based on that, the results are discussed. Now, have a look at this. A significant relationship between CSR and team commitment aligned with social identity theory as an organization social activity. This is already or was already explained in the example as well. Now let's have a look at another example here. Now see first the hypothesis is discussed and then whether or not or why or whether the relationship that you found significant or insignificant actually compare complement or contradict existing research and then an important thing here now see the relationship for example this study found from the KM perspective an organization system this is obviously uh, now this is important the study found a significant impact of KL on KM processes this is also true in light of existing research and furthermore this relationship is now discussed in light of a theory knowledge based view now this is how you have to write your discussion section not just explaining that your results were were uh, parallel or contradictory to existing research you have to use the theory to explain uh, the results as well and now why this is important or why the relationship might be important so this is how you can write your discussion section thank you very much